Hey, well, hello everyone and welcome on into a live stream. So we are doing a live pin mail unboxing and of course we got to show off our haul from the California Hollywood Studio Store pin event. So we're yeah. really excited to show you guys all that because <laughs> if you guys have seen the videos, those have been the most, that was the most exciting pin event that we had ever gone to. And we haven't made a dedicated video to show you guys all of our haul from that event so we figured we'd showcase those and then because we've been gone for a couple weeks we've really got a nice pile up of pin mail going this is only some of it here uh, but we have a lot of packages to go through so if you guys are ready for some disney pins let's go ahead and get on into it uh, but sure. we're gonna yeah we're gonna start off with the dssh stuff we're gonna show uh, it closer yeah, well, let's go ahead and uh, I have my uh, my haul over on the table here. So let's go ahead, start off with these. So these pins up front, these were all my pulls off of the pin boards they had at the event. Uh, I chose the High School Musical pins because anything High School Musical is always really popular. <laughs> well, hello, Donald. Welcome on in. He's quacking over here. <laughs> And then uh, this one I thought was really awesome. So this is an old DSSH, uh, Jack and Sally, and Jack is Whoa. a little soda jerk there. You be careful, bro. <laughs> I know, I'm right next to the very expensive pin there, but this is an old LE300. I looked it up. This pin was released in 2011, so I was very surprised they had such old stuff on the pin boards. You wouldn't think this would be so pricey. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't is. look like it's it's very pricey, but if you guys saw my excitement dur during the event, it was because we had done some research on uh, which of... Which which character blocks were like the better ones and we and we saw that Pooh Bear was actually one of the high higher end ones so that that Pooh Bear there that one is almost a $300 pin that's why I could not believe I got that off of a pin board I was like are you joking me this Thanos one so cool it, yeah it's such a, it's such a big pin as you can see there that was a LE 400 and of course, we were extra excited Yay. to get one of the wedding pins because we saw some other people finding those on the pin boards. And we got the Carl and Ellie one, which is perfect to add to our wedding board that we are trying to build right now. I was hoping we'd get wedding pins. And then, of course, I had my eye out for Disney Channel stuff, and I found the Hannah Montana there. That's an that's another old LE three hundred. He got uh, it again because if you see something, if you see nothing that you want. Then you just choose a pin that would be... And you can see it's the artist proof one. Yeah, so that was, that was released probably 2010 or something like that. So another really old one. And then I saw it again on another pin board that I couldn't really find any find too much on. So I was like, I know Hannah Montana is a good one. So I went for that one. I got the Yzma Dark Tales, which was really awesome. And this Dumbo one here, this one kind of surprised me because I wasn't expecting too much out of it. Uh, and then I flipped it over. And this is actually the smallest edition size pin that I got from the whole event. It's a limited edition of 150 because it was one of these surprise surprise pins did we get any munchling pins not from the event but we do have a bunch of pin mail and i think there might be some munchlings in it uh, but uh anyways over here this is this is was not the most valuable pin but it was my favorite pin i got from the event like it was the wally Curse of Cutie, so and my first one, which was really exciting because it was such a nice pen, the, the Marquee Alice in Wonderland. Can I pick out the ones that I want to keep for sure? So I'm going to have to think about, but I like this Thanos. one. Thanos. That's so cool. Yeah, no, I'm, pro I'm really probably going to keep all of this, actually, because I feel like it would be pretty cool to have a little frame with all, all the pins but that these, we traded but for. Have to go in our yes, collection. you can put those in the special collections. But anyways, they also had a limited edition pin trading game uh, where you had to trade one of your limited edition pins, and you can trade for any of the limited editions on their pin boards, although you only had five seconds to pick a pin. So these were the ones that I got from the limited edition pin trading game. We did a lot of uh a trading at this game as you can see because there was not much of a line as the night went on because everyone traded yeah. away all the pins they, they wanted to trade for they refreshed it with good pins and nobody knew we were i know like they had so many like... pts <laughs> like the this one here was, is from frankenweenie so i got a bunch of frankenweenie ptds uh Aww. and the best Last PTD I probably got was uh, Jim Hawkins' mom, because anything Treasure Planet is always really sought after. I love Treasure Planet. And then uh, over here, these were Shannon's polls. The, she found these ones off the pen boards. Uh, she she always knew the uh, the marquees were good ones to go for, and the Arista Cats one, that that was, I think, yeah, that, that was the highest end pin that she uh, she got off the boards there. That, that pin is valued at like 250 so it's it's pretty high up there. This one I'm adding to my collection. I'm after all of these, and I already had... Which ones did I have? You have Tiana, Tiana and, and Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, yeah. 
And then this one's so pretty. It's even better in person. I like that one. Oh, lot. yeah. The, the five-second boards are very stressful. Mike Wazowski. Yes, they're... they're oh, oh. <laughs> what happened there? All Hello. Right. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. Yeah, my, my stand just went out on me. Anyway. And then there's a Carl and Ellie, and it kind of looks like this one. They're like the thick pins. But cool. All right, there we go. <laughs> it should be back now. I don't know what happened there, but anyway, my gimbal just went limp. We're really thick. Another things. Carl and Ellie. Yes, there there were some of the old little love hearts there. I think my favorite. What was your favorite? Just pin. I would assume. That yep, that's that's what I was gonna assume you were it's, gonna choose. I didn't even like these that much before, but they're pretty in person. All right, well, let's go ahead and show off your limited edition. Oh, no, that's oh, yeah. right. You had the extra day. So I the, had the extra day, and I got... So yeah, so this was Friday night. It was like the pre-pin trading party that I was not invited to. <laughs> they said it was sold out and did not let, not, did not let me buy well, a ticket. But Shannon, I think, bought literally the last ticket because... Uh, Shan was able to get hers, but they told me mine, and it was sold out for me, so. I think a lot of people were disappointed in it, though, but I got lucky because I was first in Oh, line. yeah, Shannon found some nice <laughs> and ones in I there. And then I kept being refreshed. Yeah, so she got these nice little silhouette ones like, and the little peep PTD. And then over here, these were the limited edition, uh, pin game ones that she got. I got some good. Yeah, she found some nice ones on there, especially the Lady in the Tramp Heart little envelope there. Yeah, look at this. There's a little letter. And then I have, look, this one's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a Dr. Facilier uh, little uh, carousel horse. And this one I've n I hadn't seen before. This was one of my first ones I traded. And then a lot of PTDs. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> and then the Donald one. He doesn't look like it, but he, he was the highest end PTD. And uh, Doofenshmirtz is also up How there. How much is this one? Donald, worth? I think, goes for 70 and Doofenshmirtz is like a $60 Dude. one. But yeah, anything Phineas and Ferb, because they didn't make a lot of Phineas and Ferb, is always really nice to find. But anyways, that was everything from the, uh, the pin event there. Uh, I'm going to try and restart my gimbal. Oh, and then, yes, we did meet Ni Naomi. And you can open this. This is our P.O. box. Oh, me. yeah. If, if you guys ever feel like sending us anything, there's our uh, P.O. box information. I know, tried covering up all these sender's address with stickers. If you showing up, it, we won't be there. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a P.O. box. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead, open up our first package and see what kind of mail we got. Because we got a lot of stuff to get through because it's been a while since we, uh, we've uh, opened up our mail. <laughs> let's see. Oh, starting us off there. Look at that Hades Loungefly Jumbo. This is cool. It's hard to open, too. Does it, like, spin? It looks like his head, like, tilts back and forth. Yep. He's angry. Very cool. That's a nice little Hades one there. That's cool. Got and a hello, Mel's Place. Wow. Thanks for stopping on in the live. The Wonders of Life Jumbo. So these are two Jumbo cast member exclusive pins. And you can see how big these pins are. Wow. They're like giant poster pins. And another cool Hades. Ooh. Hades! This one's a, uh, oh, it's a pink a la mode jumbo. Those ones are usually like LE300, which is pretty cool. All right, we got to find a place to put all our pins because we're going to run out of table space. All right, on to our next box. I don't know if that actually works today. <laughs> no struggling today. Oh, I jinxed it. Dang it. It's always hard. Well, it's hard to open up now. Ooh. Oh, the posters definitely do look really nice. I really like the C's one because it's, it's got Nemo. This one, oh, Nemo. Fancy. this one looks fancy. Oh, I remember what this is now. Oh, yes. This one's real exciting because... All right. Which way? Yeah, look at the fancy boxes came in. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Like not in it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, they popped out during shipping, it looks like. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, and they. Yeah, we got to wipe off the little fuzzies that came on them. But look. Oh my gosh. A little bunch of Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, so this is. I forget what it is. Uh, what cool. brand these ones were. It just says Disney on the back of them. But it's an older. 
I'm not sure. I forget what they were released, but these are some really oh. awesome Winnie the Pooh ones. There's a lot of really fun designs that were uh, in here. So I was excited when I was able to purchase all Lumpy. these guys. And Tigger just over there by himself. And then, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a cool little display, too, because it looks like you could just fit any pin with their backing, push it in there. Does the fuzz come off? Oh, yeah, it does, because I see it all over the <laughs> pins there. But yeah, some really awesome Winnie the Pooh stuff. Uh, that was exciting. Very cool. All right, on to, on to our next box over here. <laughs> and I'm going to see if uh, my gimbal is going to work with us or if it's going to go out on me again. So give me one second, guys. My nail is going to pop off today. I know it. There we go. All right, we're back in action. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Why is there a Winnie the Pooh notebook right on top? Is it a zap? Aww. Look at this. Oh, a little notebook. Aww. Perfect for your Pooh Bear collection there. Yeah. All right, and I'm seeing lots of small pins Whoa. in here. Whoa, oh, and some not so small ones. Ooh. Look at that. This is Main Street USA, 30 years of magic. Whoever likes munchlings. Oh, and that's the uh, the three. Oh my gosh, look at this one. So this is a piece wow. of a uh, piece of history one with the Mary Poppins penguin on there, Aww. and it's got a little piece. I don't know. Maybe I guess it's from the Plaza Inn. It looks like Le Two Thousand. But the piece of history series is always really awesome. Oh, someone was asking about the munchlings earlier. Here's some munchlings right here. We got the Mi Mickey and Minnie ones. And what is this train? It kind of looks like it's the fiftieth one, is it? Yep, it looks like it was from the uh, Disney World fiftieth, uh, one of the one of the fiftieth sets. What? This is all the pins I have. Oh, what's in there? Oh, the Peter Pan cluster. I think. Eva Jane, I'm welcome not sure on in. If I have it. So... All right. A lot of them I forget. All right, up next. There's a package, uh, there's a package in the package. Oh, because it's a big pin. Ooh, it is a big pin. Oh. Look at that. E.T. Oh, that's another Paris one. Paris's 30th anniversary. E is it a limited edition one? or so It is. L.E. 700. Look at that. And what's nice about Paris pins is they all, they individually mark them all if my camera ever gets in focus. Uh, you can see this one's number 441 out of 700. So it's cool how it tells you which pin of uh, the series it was some hiding in there <laughs> oh yeah we got is that the full puzzle set oh yeah the full puzzle right there it's always nice to have the completed puzzle because those Aww. things are so hard to complete uh what's his name he's from one of the pixar shorts right i don't remember his uh, does he have a name uh like i i, I he does but i i just don't remember it he's the, the one that um the lady that doesn't want to throw out or eat <laughs> he, she wants him as a kid Oh, it's, yeah, okay, so Oliver said it's Bao, Bao. Yeah, Bao Bun, right? Like he's a Bao Bun. Oh, we got some Christmas pins. And what is, why is that so fancily wrapped? Whoa. Oh, it's one of the new camera ones. What? I, I don't know if those were released at Disney World, I but I, like I saw them at Disneyland. <laughs> Well, Sadie, uh, uh, <laughs> glad to hear we help with your uh, pen knowledge there. Oh, yes, the Munchlings are always really great pens, and everyone always loves to trade for them, so I'm always very excited when we're able to get more of them. It's going to be embarrassing if my nails pop off. All right, let's, uh, while Shannon messes with that, let's oh see what is in here. There's a little Donald. Oh, my. Well, that is definitely a fantasy pen, but that is a big one right there. It is Rapunzel. Oh, that's headed straight to Shannon's board. Ooh. There's another Munchling. It's Minnie Mouse. Oh. Hey, Pluto. That's so pretty. Oh, you got it open Ooh, now. There it is. Cool. What? Well, it's an actual photo. Welcome on in, Bianca. Mm -hmm. Got more Christmas up oh my there. Gosh, I remember that. <laughs> the little movie. Oh my, you threw that pin. <laughs> and it's a little Chippendale from Paris. Lots Paris always has like some of the nicest stuff. More munchlings. Munchlings, oh my. <laughs> Munchling overload over here. There's Mike Wazowski, Simba, Sydney. I'm so glad to hear you enjoy the videos. 
Oh, the one sweet. white rabbit. More Encanto. More Encanto. And Christmas. Oh, look at this. More Christmas. Oh, Mistress, were you at Oogie Boogie Bash? I hope you got a bag full of candy. We sure did. <laughs> It's amazing how much candy they give out. Uh, but yeah, more Christmas stuff. There's Cogsworth. Hello, Abby. Welcome on in. Another picture. Oh, oh, it's another one. Another Waltz. <laughs> Paparazzi oh, photo. Gosh, I like this one. There's no date, right? Uh, let me look close. I don't see one snuck on there. They love to do that. Oh, that's a nice I've noticed, movie. like, recently, before they used to make the dates so obvious. Now they're just trying to hide them in the design, which is n nice, but... It's at least better, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's better, but not ideal. Countdown. We need to count down Christmas. Oh, yeah, the countdown pins. They do this usually every holiday. They have usually a Halloween one and a... Uh, from San Diego, California. That's our hometown over there. Aww. There's so many Christmas. Oh, look at Olaf. Olaf. This one. The Alice oh. Fantasyland. Oh, the Dapper Dance. And more Christmas. Lots of Christmas pins in this box. Big ones. Some big ones. Heck yeah. Still eating the cake. Who was your favorite since it was first time, Nick? Who was my favorite? Villain. Oh, my favorite villain. I, I would go with Ernesto. They, I feel like they just, they, they did very well with that character. Like, it looks so... Yeah, no, they, like, <laughs> comparing Jack him to there. Jack Skellington, like, Jack Skellington no, like, because Ernesto, like, lo looks real, like, it's, it's, it's pretty dang good. But, yeah, look at this jumbo pin, and it looks like it's a spinner, and it has a bunch of different characters on the inside Aww. of this one. Uh, limit edition of 3,000, and electrical parade jumbo, small world. Oh. That's going in uh, Shannon's keeper box over there, it looks I like. Might want it. I love it. It is such a big pin. That is almost, almost as big as my hand right there. Next box. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know when the last time I've had a pin this big was. Oh, man. <laughs> I know. I'm really surprised they, they didn't have Yzma at the, uh, the, the, the Oogie Boogie Bash. If they included her, I can't imagine how, how, uh, how long the line would be. That's going to take up your whole uh, pin board. <laughs> Brooklyn Bridget will welcome on into the YouTube live. Oh, yeah. Oogie was a fun one to meet, too. Very nicely wrapped, I do got to say. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Let's see what all these are. Oh, you know what? These are all smaller Hidden Mickey ones, uh, it looks like. So uh, a lot of these are ones are the Disneyland Hidden Mickeys. Oh, wow. As you can see there, there's the, the Blue Dodger House. There's, a, for anyone who doesn't know, because I get this question every once in a while, there's two of these chaser houses. So there's a blue one and a purple one. Blue is for Disneyland, and purple is Disney World. Well, Dino, that is really awesome of you for checking out all the videos. We, we super appreciate that. Uh, this one, it looks like there's all the piggies, including the, uh, the chaser piggy. More piggies, and then to Tiana, Tiana Hidden Mickeys. Did we get any Muppets? We haven't seen any Muppets so far. I, I have honestly forgot all, all the stuff that I got, uh, so I'm not sure if there's any upcoming. Some of these have been sitting for a while. Yeah, no, like this has been in my mailbox for like the last month. Why does my gimbal keep going out on me? Oh, I wonder if it's because I'm pointing it down and it doesn't like that. You know what? Gimbal, gimbal's going down. <laughs> I guess it's just just me holding the phone today. But Bianca, I'm so glad to hear you enjoy the videos. Yeah, we're we're trying to do more of them. Uh, but here it is. Here's this one. So the the Pooh Bear ones. Those ones are really hard to find because they are especially so popular. So uh, it's not very often we see them on the pin board. So it's nice that we got some of them here. Uh, yeah, more more hidden Mickey's. And the Monsters University ones, those were uh, Disneyland exclusives. Lots of good yeah, a lot. No, yeah. Uh, this one here of Aurora and Cheshire. They don't get to see these a lot now. Oh, yeah, the, the little silhouettes. They were Every once in a while we'll see them. Oh, well, Sadie, yes, uh, we, we don't go live too often, but we're definitely trying to do that more often. 
Uh, do I have a pin and pop on my... No, I have not heard of pin and pop. I've heard of it, and I forget what And it is. Sophie, I'm very glad to hear you enjoy the videos. Thank you for checking them out. Too many. Uh, let's see. Have you seen the trading uh, situation in Disney Paris? I have seen videos where people go there, and then it's just like one pin board, and, you, and they, they don't say yes to every trade, so you have to make sure you bring your good ones with you. Not as much trading. Yeah, it, they sell really pretty ones. Yeah, no, they they definitely have so many really awesome awesome ones in Paris. Makes us very jealous. Do we like the chin pins? What's your opinion on the chin pins, Miss? I, mean, I don't collect them, but I like them because I like to call them chin pins. <laughs> so. Yeah, they they they're definitely not the most popular ones. But that's so funny, though. They should make more chains. I know, they, but yeah, no, they're like, like they have the, there's the Mater one out there. Instead of, like, yeah, those, they can make some new ones. All right, let's see. Where's our next one? We got a blue package. This is a nice knife. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a lanyard in here. It, it, it'd be nice if they had, like, one board in Disney World where they did that, where they could kind of, like, verify everything so it's actually, like, a good, nice pin board to look at. As long as they're nice about it. Uh, so, Dino, that's actually a great question. So, uh, the, the problem with uh, trying to explain that is um, it's, there's no universal trick to telling if a pin is real or not. There's, like, a couple different things you can watch out for that are red flags. Uh, but Disney has made it very complicated because not all the pins follow the same rules. Like, some things that you can keep an eye out for are, like, borders on the back of the pins. On ones, uh, There's no examples here because these are all older ones. But what, but what we're trying to do, what we're trying to do is get a board uh, together uh, with a, the real version of a pin and a fake version of a pin. We have about a, a, a front and a back page of uh, filled with uh with a bunch of matches that we've made with that uh so we can make that video to try and explain it the best we can because it's really complicated <laughs> uh but i i guess the easiest trick uh is is like the weights the weight i think is actually pretty universal if it if it feels really light that's usually a red flag uh, but anyways, let's see what we, uh, we got going on in this bundle. I see some oh, re-ones in there. Is there no backs? Is that why oh, is there no pinbacks on them? Yeah. Well, if there's gonna be no pinbacks, I'm glad they packaged it in a way where they're gonna get yeah. here safely. Uh, but this one here. This one, this one's really awesome. This is a Disneyland Paris one. Is there any Alice in Wonderland pins? I love Alice in Wonderland. Mad Hatter is my favorite yeah. character. Well, no, no Mad Hatter so far, but... Here's a Cheshire one. This one's actually really cool because you can pull up on his tail. And look, it reveals him. And then when he goes back in, all you can see is his smile. I don't know what they do that and make that work, but <laughs> it's a pretty cool one. And then over here, we got the uh, the Cheshire Madness head spinner. What we got over here? Uh, a bunch of Haunted Mansion. Some zooms and wishables, uh, a Tinkerbell pirate, the dancing skeletons, and then a little Mickey. Yeah, I was, uh, you're making me a little nervous there. Well, that's the only way to open it. What is that? There's an yeah. S, a Dalmatian S. That's what I was wondering. I've seen some from that series. It's a it's a set that spells out Disneyland, I believe. Bruh. But, uh... These are hard to open. Oh. <laughs> For these, I need scissors. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right, so here's all the Dalmatian ones. And do you ever downsize your collections? Yeah. But... Then, Every... I, then I get more. <laughs> But yeah, we we do sometimes, but it's just like, what if I regret it? Then I don't have that pin anymore. That's sad. Oh, these have backs. Yeah, like back in the day, Shannon used to collect Pirates of the Caribbean. That was one of her bigger, bigger and pin I wish collections. I, still did. I was surprised you decided to get rid of them. So now I do again. Uh, can you say hi, Sophia? Well, hi, uh, Sophia. <laughs> Ooh, I like 
that they're all like themed. Oh, oh, they kept them all this separated. Yeah, this one's pretty cool because it's a little one. parade float. How many Munchling plushies do you have? How many Munchling plushies do you have? I have a lot have? of them, but I don't have all of them. I just got a new one from the new Christmas set. It was Robin Hood, but he think he thought it was Bambi. No, it to the new the new one totally looks like Bambi. I I thought without a doubt I that mean, one yeah, was Bambi, kind of and then she was like, "Oh yeah, look, I got Robin Hood." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> uh, anyway, some more Christmas pins with Mickey and Minnie, Ariel, and then a little Yoda pin down there. Give you this. Oh, the the box is over here now. Hello, Smile. We'll welcome on in. Yeah, we are unboxing all of our pin mail. What was your first pin, Shannon? Do you remember your first pin? Um, it was from Walmart. It was from Walmart? That's where it came from? Yeah. It was Walmart, like, 2015? Is that, is that the get, one? That's where I used to get my souvenirs for Disney World. Actually, it could be from Disneyland. Um, the Winnie the Pooh and Tigger were... Oh, okay. Well, we'll consider that one the first Disney pin, then, because that's the first Disney Parks one. I think that my one might be. My first Disney pen was was when I went to Disneyland with Shannon for the first time. I think it was in 2018 or 2017. I don't remember exactly. But it was a two-pin set with uh, Wendy and Peter Pan is the, is the one we chose oh, as yeah. our little couple set pin. Because the thing is, before, before we really got into Disney pens, Shannon got one pin from every Disney trip. So that was, uh, that was the pen for that trip. Yes. I'm gonna just open the ones. That open the ones that have interesting <laughs> stuff. There's uh, the some Dalmatian more. stuff. This like one's yeah, some castles, some uh, some parking lot signs. Yeah, because we we got a lot of pins to get through. Is uh, this one's got some cool things in it. And Luna, oh yeah, Luna, we we don't do a lot of lives, so I'm glad you could join us tonight. We're we're gonna try and be be live more often though. Aww. Oh my goodness, we got some puzzle pieces. A little Mike Wazowski University ID. A uh, Mike Wazowski 3D vinyl mation. And S for Soli. How many pins are in your permanent collection at this point? Uh, that's a good question because um. We don't know the answer, but we know it's in the multi thousands. We want to count. Yeah, we we've counted the cars pins. Well, I I get I roughly counted the cars pins. I think there's like four or five hundred in there, uh, but that that only accounts for a portion of it because uh, we got we got plenty of other collections Let's there. Just box them up, throw them. Oh, they don't have backs. I would just throw them on the floor, and then I'll yeah, find Mickey backs nice. later. This is all the uh, the backless ones. All right, well, put them in there the best you can. We just don't touch. And then we won't touch this box until we can get some back so they don't scratch each other. Yeah. Oh, yes, it's it's very sad that the, uh, the Disney store is closed because uh, we definitely love stopping in there, and they definitely have uh, some good deals on some pins sometimes. But they're gone. Now it's just shopdisney.com, I guess. And the character warehouse. That's kind of... Good. What's your favorite Disney character? Do you think it's... It is... Oh, well, I can't choose just one, but if we're talking, like, who I, I will always say... It's Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen. Ciao. Let's so see, and then... Uh... Yeah, does Star Wars count? He's gonna say Star Wars. <laughs> uh, if it does, I would go with it's it's, it's another tough choice. And why is there so many aerial pins? Yeah, this is looking like a good box. Uh, anyways, this uh, I I'd say there's a couple. There's like too many I want to choose from. Um, the guy from Home. There's Captain Rex is one of them. Yes, I know that's who you refer referring to. Uh, Rex, there's Darth Maul, there's General Grievous, <laughs> there's Cad Bane. Rex the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> there's also Rex the DJ. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, let's see what was on here. Um, what is my dream Star Wars pin? Um, mm. I'm trying to think. I own one of them. It's, it's a nice big it's cluster. Really big ones, right? Yeah, the, the big cluster one in my Star Wars oh. collection. Uh, I'll, I'll have to bring it where, 
is your time zone? We are in Florida, so that is Eastern time. I don't know what time it is. Have you ever been scammed with a trade or purchase? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, there has definitely been times that's happened, so you have to be careful, careful when buying stuff. Always send your money, uh, goods and services through PayPal, so at least you get buyer protection, because they, they've definitely backed me up anytime I've run into trouble like that. People are butt -holes. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, have we watched so We have not watched the Soki yet. I'm trying to get her to watch Clone Wars first, but you know what we're doing? You know what we're doing? We're watching, uh, what's it called? You're not watching it. You're watching, uh, you won't. Storybook Land. Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time <laughs> for the fourth time instead. I just needed to. I it's her comfort like, show. Next. But this one, is, does that count as a car? <laughs> well, why? Is the mater, like, super teeny tiny on? Oh, there he is. He's in the bubble. There's my queen. <laughs> ka -chow. Uh, well, anyways, yeah, there's some really nice uh, princess ones in here, especially these Hong Kong, Ariel, and Jasmine. Yeah, this one's a nice little DSSH one. Do we like Disney World or Disneyland better, Shannon? What is your opinion? I will not choose... 95? Um, that's a, that's an expensive pin, if that's the case. I, we do like Disneyland because there's a lot. Yeah, Disneyland is almost like a compressed Disney World, so it's it's like you don't have to do as much walking and a. But coming back from Disneyland this time, I can really appreciate the room we have. Oh yeah, Disneyland definitely gets very Magic like crowded like, wow, and tight. Be... This one's really cool. It's a uh, Imagination Gala okay, slider pin with uh, Ariel. A human and mermaid Ariel. L E oh L E two fifty. That's a tiny edition size. Mm -hmm. Are you excited for Loki season two? I remember really liking the first season of Loki. That was probably. I know Shannon, Shannon's not the biggest Marvel fan. No, I like Marvel, just not the, a lot of the recent. Not the new movies. stuff. It's my problem. I like Guardians though. Um. But I Loki was good. Oh yeah, it is pin heaven today. We got we got plenty plenty more boxes to open up over there. I don't know if I'm gonna get messed up. That much. one was signed. Oh, I I didn't even realize there was a uh, signed one I was looking at. We got the silver phone. Oh, the silver Jasmine calling hidden Mickey. Oh my God. Have you seen the new haunted mansion? I'm watching it this week. Speaking of, oh, I don't think we've watched that. Yeah, it just came on Disney Plus. Oh, I didn't realize that. Would you say have be which would you say have better pin boards land or land by a landslide? Uh, it seems to have we've had the best luck at. I mean, but it also honestly, also there is more pin boards in Disneyland. So lately though. Oh, I guess our last trip, a lot of them disappeared and what, didn't have the uh, the best stuff. Uh, even except that Disneyland has cast members. Oh, the We're lane you're the trading. Yes, that definitely helps because. Uh, Kind of rare. Yeah, I know. They do have them here now, at least, but they're not common. Like, every once in a while, we'll see a cast member with it. They're allowed to wear them at the vacation club spots. Uh, but uh, that is about all. Oh my gosh, so many. Weird question, but are you in Hollywood Studios or Magic Kingdom in Orlando the 9th and 10th of August? Um, August? We're So we're talking next year? They, maybe, did they mean August or did they mean uh i think they i'm assuming you got a trip next year so uh if, if you tell me like the day before i might be able to know but otherwise we don't have our, our days planned out that uh I mean, we'll probably be here in august though because that's when the pin event is right um oh oh yeah yeah usually disney world has their big pin event in august so odds are we'll be around oh here's one of the build a pin ones i've or is it a build a pin one? Maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken because it's a it's a sliding one. But this one's pretty cool. It's a Jasmine and a Boo Disneyland, and they uh they slide up and down. Like I, well, Lucky Misty, thank you for stopping on in. Uh, let's see. Do, um, hold on. Do you where do you recommend buying authentic pin lots? So if you know what you're doing and what to look for, you can find some really good deals on eBay. Uh, but if you are new to the pin community, I would recommend buying from a trusted uh trusted sellers on other other on like Instagram, whatnot. whatnot, and um, Facebook are always good places to uh, search for those. 
Uh, scrolling down. Yeah, Mercari is also a spot, but you also have to be careful on there. Uh, let's see. My friend is a stunt double in the new Haunted Mansion movie. What? That's cool. What? Uh, I recently watched all the Halloween Town movies. I love Halloween Town. Random fact: Did you know that Tiki Room was the first attraction in Disneyland to have a full to have full air conditioning? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> That yeah, if if we were around back in those days, that that would probably be Shannon's favorite attraction then. <laughs> Just for that. Um. Uh. Let's see. And be like, yay, Tiki Room, I'd fall asleep. Down. <laughs> uh. What was the big gold round princess pin called from DSSH event? Where's that pin from? The silhouette. Oh, the, yeah, the ones that you found. I, I don't remember the official silhouette. name of the series, but yeah, I was able to find them by searching DSSH Silhouette Princess, and they were able to pop up. I need the rest of them. Yeah, there's a couple other ones in the series. Like, there's Belle and Ariel are the other ones I'm aware of that exist. Um, but yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there's there's a lot of really awesome princess pins that were in this box. This was actually another, uh, I, I think they were a whatnot seller and then kind of kind of got out of it so they they reached out to me and was like you want to buy all my princess ones so i was like i would love to buy all your princess ones um anyway um is disney pins for you a good source for pin i i am not familiar with disney pins for you i i think i've heard of it i've heard people buy pins from there uh, random question. Do you have any Oswald pins? I do own a couple Oswald pins, but he's definitely an uncommon character. They've started making more of them, though. So that's good. You have a beautiful pins. Is a... Is this a mystery? One more... Oh, if you're asking if this was a mystery box, for me it wasn't a mystery box. They showed me all the uh, the pins ahead of time, but it is a mystery for Shannon. She she doesn't she she doesn't know what I've purchased here. <laughs> What's your favorite Marvel movie? Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians. And also, I like Spider Man. Um, especially the the last Spider Man was good. Uh, Guardians. what Disney Channel Halloween movies do you guys like to watch? I love Halloween Town and Nightmare Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus, of course. I've got to steal some of these. So Brooklyn Bridget says this uh, trading pins for you is legit. <laughs> Although the name just sounds a little sketchy. I've, but... I've heard people buy from there. I think it is, but don't take my word for it because I haven't bought from there. But I've heard that. What character or movie do you want them to make more pins for? That's a great question. I think it's a it's it's an easy answer from Miss Shannon over. Yep, there it is. They don't make enough cards. Where's my Lightning McQueen profile pin? She's been waiting on that for years, huh? Do you okay. like Miss Marvel? I've, I haven't seen that one. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, but anyways, here, here's a little overview of everything that came out of the princess package there. You can see it's definitely um, Majority Ariel and Jasmine uh, in here. I'm going to put these actually, all Actually, is there any other box. princesses? This is all Ariel and Jasmine, huh? Yeah. More lettuce pin. This I is the, yep, that's like Lauren, Lauren Lettuce right there, huh? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, more lettuce pins. They don't make enough lettuce pins. <laughs> um, let's see who's scrolling down. I was hoping they'd do like a food-themed pin event next time, but it's villains, so villains is cool. Is <laughs> Nick baked potato walking food or sit down? I'll forever have that image of you walking around with that potato. <laughs> From the last live stream we did in Disneyland, Shan Shannon ordered a potato and was telling me hurry, hurry up, so I was just plowing that thing down as I was walking. I didn't want that food to go to waste. That was a good potato, man. That was a good potato. Uh, what kind of Star Wars pins do you collect the most? The the majority of what I what I hold on to when I get them is uh, prequels. Prequel stuff is uh, always always my favorite to uh, to look after and collect. Um, let's see, scrolling down. What's this? What's the story behind your Lightning McQueen pins you always have to portray? It's quick summaries. Three years ago, uh, I found someone who uh, basically worked for the travel company and got all those for free. So they sold me uh, some massive boxes of them. And now we got a lifetime supply of Lightning McQueen pins. We need to make a dedicated video explaining that because I get that question all the time because people are always wondering why the heck I have thousands of these pins. 
Um, anyways, uh, scrolling down. Have we seen Element? We have not seen Elemental yet. Are you excited for the Marvels? I don't. I don't know anything about the Marvels. <laughs> I other than I think I've heard the name before. It's okay. I'm hoping it'll be good. It's the preview you see in the movie theater with Captain Marvel. Uh, Captain Marvel is not my favorite, so that's why I'm like. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Our, she looks better in that movie. Uh, and then fidgets. Uh, we are planning on going to that uh, pin event. I actually need to reach out to see if they have tables available because we we probably should start getting tables. Usually we just pop into the events for a little bit. <laughs> uh, and then uh, let's see. Uh, scroll down. Which has better trading boards, Disneyland or Disney World? It depends on the day. Yeah, I can. it was. Disneyland, but they kind of got rid of a lot of theirs, so now I'm like, I don't know. But it probably still Disneyland. Yeah, and they also have those special, uh, oh my God. uh, special <laughs> boards that are specifically for the authentic fans. There's so many monsters. There's, oh yeah, universe. look at all these. These are all the Monster University houses, I wonder and there's I there's need. repeats of each one. Do I need these? Because I know I was trying to get them all. Uh, but yeah, we got we got multiples of each one now. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What do you guys like doing outside of Disney? Any other hobbies? I like me my Legos. Oh my. That's a story for another day. That's a story. You you wait for the upcoming video. I'll, I'll like just Legos, leave it at that. Literally, if you've seen my Instagram. <laughs> yeah, if you follow Shannon on Instagram, you might know what I'm talking about. But uh, but uh, yeah. Somebody bought a lot of Legos. A lot is an understatement. A lot is an understatement. Um, anyways, let, let me scroll down. If you, if you guys were Disney characters, which ones would y'all be? Do you mean, like, uh, in the parks? Oh, look at this. this is like, if I was a face character or if I was a character? Like, I had to be them. Because <laughs> if I was a face character, I would be Lightning McQueen. <laughs> a face character? <laughs> You're just going to drive the car? There's got to be someone in there, right? Beep, beep. And that'd be so... Why did you make a... F Shitty shaper. That was like that. That was like that. I don't think it was like that. Oh no, we had a casualty. It was hard. I thought it was coming out. I don't think well, it was okay. there that well. Um, well, the piece itself is in good condition. So, you can just glue so I think we can just super glue that. But uh, that was an Olaf snow globe. Uh, uh, there was nothing in, at least. All right. Well, let's, let's put that back here because that now needs to be I repaired. Like you be careful with these pins, Olaf miss. Work. Anyways, oh, Olaf. There you go. Some different Olaf pins. For Lots you. of Olaf. Just forget about the last one. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so bad. Look at that one. I haven't seen that one. What is my most valuable Disney pin? Oh, what? Um... This one? The most valuable in my co personal collection is probably like two hundred and fifty, uh. But I do own a couple profiles in my trader books that. <gasps> oh yes! Look at all this! Look at all these what? Olaf. So a lot of these are from the Hollywood Studio store. Do they have um, a series of Olaf wearing things? Uh, that's what it I looks that like. The pins blog had pins like that, so it's like both. Yeah, so uh, the those were a bunch of DSSH <laughs> releases. Oh my god! There was some nice like Olaf these. ones in there. Yeah, it's always nice when they they have characters dress up like that. Oh, look at that one. He's big. Like yeah, no, I'm really surprised Disney doesn't do more of the little crossover series. Because okay. they're definitely Disneyland. really popular. Or, like, characters on rides like that. Disneyland Paris does that, and it's really good. That's why I like that. Oh, ah! oh there's your that pin one. that you got from the event. It's there. Oh, look, he has a balloon. I collect Olaf now. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, we got all... Joking. Yeah, well, that, that's one easy way to start a collection right there. I'm going to be keeping a lot of these, because what? No. Like Olaf. Aww. All right, very cool. Those were some nice Olaf pins. Some more Olaf to put in there. Yeah, let's have a snow here. globe that died today. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead, go on to our next box. And if, really? Nails. I'm not used to having nails on. Yeah, they packaged that one up real good, it looks like, but... Okay, but this is a... These are some good nails, but they haven't popped off <laughs> yet. 
We know that's probably gonna happen now that I say And it. if you guys haven't already liked the video, if you guys don't mind uh, leaving us a like, it really helps us out because it, it lets YouTube know that uh, we're oh. do, we're doing a good job, and they'll show our show our stuff to more people. So those of you that always leave a like, uh, we really appreciate you guys. <laughs> What is what is in here? R.I.P. that pin. R.I.P. that pin. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh my, that that is just st stuffed full of pins. Oh, this one's really cool. Look at this. This is a Huey Dewey Louie, uh, Disneyland Paris Sandcastle. Oh yes, we got the two pins together. We always get one side, but never the other. And nobody just wants... Oh, look at animal. <laughs> Friends. Uh, this animal is pretty cool. He's an older one. Let's see. Does it tell me the year? It does, animals. but it's hiding behind the, the Mickey Mickey head. But it looks Ooh, like it's nice. like 2002 time frame. Oh, Mickey dressed up. Uh, what? Hotel. They would not make that nowadays. Oh, it's from Disneyland Paris. That's cool. Oh, look at this one. My first trip to Disney World. Uh, 98. Animal Kingdom. Like that, literally. Why don't they still sell pins like that? Because people would buy them. What, my first trip to Disney World? Yeah, on the they first do. Trip. They do. They still sell this? Yeah, not this exact design, but they have a very similar one that's currently in the parks. Mm. Uh, this Magic Kingdom one is a little yellow, just just a little it. bit. Uh, I actually own a couple of them. <laughs> in the store, I mean. Uh, yeah, let's see. Cool. Here is... Scar, he looks like he's a uh, Sedesma. He is a Sedesma one, which means he came from Spain. Bugs. So many random pins. Oh, yeah. Pin, tr pin trading is real fun. It's definitely our favorite thing to do in the parks. Like, it makes every day like a treasure hunt there. It's always something new. Uh, this one here, Mike Wazowski, Valentine's Day. So a lot of our duplicates, they will either go to uh, our little consignment board in the uh, the Go Pin Pro Store, Pin HQ, here in Orlando. There's a quiz. Who is this lady? Yeah, does anybody know? I know who we're... We well, I know, know I know what movie she's from, but she's definitely a very oddball character. Yeah. I, will, I will be impressed if anybody knows. Uh, I'll leave it to the chat for a couple seconds there as we... Uh, we check out all the other pins, like P.T. Flea from, uh, what is it? Uh, Bugs Life. Oh my goodness, look at this, what I've just found. There is a Treasure Planet pin in there. It's the pirate guy from Treasure Planet. Anything Treasure Planet is very rare and hard to find because they really did not make a whole lot of it. And it's one of the, uh, the most, uh, most beloved, like, underrated movies. Uh, so everyone loves that. But now it's good. Like everybody knows it's good. Oh, I like the animals. I didn't see any comments for for the girl, but I'll 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 I'll, I'll say it. <laughs> it, it. She's from Fantasia, is where she's from. Because nobody knows. Yeah, it's a very very <laughs> odd character. I still forgot. Uh, here's this one. Mike Wazowski going for a swim. Uh... All right, Shannon's opened up our next package. Carefully, Carefully open this package this time. And they are all individually baggies. What? No. I'm just kidding, they're baggies. Yeah, no, yeah. That that's usually a red flag is when they're individually bagged, but the uh the, the scrapper baggies, they have a red line at the top. That's gonna be a red flag. It's not always a guarantee because I've seen people send me stuff in those red bags that are good. Um I think they just they use them because they think it looks nice. Uh because they they're like little jewelry bags, is what they are. Uh, but anyways, like these Nightmare Before Christmas ear hats, these are always really popular ones. Uh, and then a bunch of Sooms that all, they, these are all authentic Sooms. This Mater one is a very commonly scrapped pen, and this one is also the scrapped version, it looks like. Oh, uh, and then uh, I, a trick on this one, if I had extra hands. The nubs on the back of the pen, they should always be very sharp. Uh, I can tell this one's not the good one because the nubs on the back of the pen are dull. Oh, oh, look at this pen. This is another really nice one. So this is from the featured attraction collection, but it is Stitch on Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. So uh, anytime they're shipped, like, yeah, uh, they keeping them all individually bagged like the, this uh, saves them from being scratched. So uh, that is definitely a, a good way to package pens. You're done. Uh, let's see... 
Were you able to salvage any of the rusty pins from that big lady? We were actually able to, to uh, salvage a lot of those pins, actually. Uh, all it took was a little bit of, uh, what, what did we rub on the pins to make a get? Baking soda mixed with a vinegar mixed with a little bit of dish soap. Yeah, but basically when we did that and we scrubbed it on them, it almost made uh, the, all those crusty looking ones look new. It, it was very shocking. I was very surprised to see. I don't know why it works. I know... People were telling me they repel each other. Fidgets, thank you for letting me know. I will do my best to try and remember to bring all my Oswalds out then. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be at the pin events in uh, in October and wants, wants, wants some Oswald pins. So I got to bust out the Oswald pins. Oh, yeah, do you like turning red? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It's not my favorite, though. I think it didn't really feel that much like a Pixar movie. Like I didn't really cry, but I guess it's because I I wouldn't relate, but I get that some people do. It was I like the songs a lot. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got more food Ooh, trucks. Ooh, Daisy. Is that the? Yeah, that's one of the, the Mulan sword pieces. Oh, Every time we go to the pen events, people are always asking about the sword. Everyone wants to complete their sword. Um, that one could, looks like it could be a pin alone. Hello, Alarna. Welcome on in. If you really like that, Can you rank your top three Disney pin events? There's only two. So. <laughs> um, um, I'm trying to understand what their question might be. Do they mean like the uh, the official ones? Uh, cause if so, we've we've only been to three in total, actually. So I guess we could rank them top three. Top the number one on the list would have been the uh, the Nightmare DSSH event, uh, and then after that, the One Family, and then number three would be uh. Magic happened. Magic. It was it was fun. Not that it was bad. It just like there were some things like I feel like I couldn't go and explore the event. Well, the lines were the longest at that event. Yeah, because the lines were so long, and that's how you, like, that's the main thing, is you trade. So I couldn't really go around and, like, look at the new pins and stuff. But it was still fun, though. Um, yeah. And then Kimora, if you uh, it was since you're you're planning your trip so far ahead, like uh, definitely pay attention to see if there's any of the uh, the pin training events going on during that time frame, because we'll definitely be at all the uh, the pin events uh, if if you if you're hoping to do some pin trading. We uh, we. Yeah, those are usually the ones we make it out to. There's the guys. Yeah, there there's so many pin events going on in Orlando. They they do them all the time. This one looks to be a lot of hidden Mickey's again. Yep, I, I got these from the same guy who sold me the other one. So uh, lots of Hidden Mickeys. Shannon's like, I'm done with Hidden Mickeys. I don't want to even see these, huh? Yeah, no, there's just a lot of pins to get through today. So, Laura's birthday is October 30th. You guys are almost birthday besties, huh? So close to my birthday. Yeah, Shannon's is on Halloween there. So one day away. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, yours is so close too. Have you? Yeah, they, like, share a we have seen the the we have seen pins of Giselle. She's definitely a rare character. His birthday is in November. The pin event is the twenty first. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. So, there's two events happening at the end of the month. There's uh, that one on the twenty first, which is. I mean, I'm trying to... Central Florida Disney Pin Chasers is the Facebook group that's holding the event on the 21st. Aww. And then there's Pyro Guys event, which is the 28th. The 28th is when we're going to try and get the... Uh... That Mushu almost looks like he's a cutie. No, not a cutie. Uh... It does. Oh, he's yeah. from Shanghai. That's a cool thing. Interesting I one. Like and then Miko. Miko looks like a lounge fly. Olu, yeah. It's one of the, uh, the ones from so Alani. Tiny. I need the tiny one. Oh, my does goodness. It go with him? Yeah, yeah, looks like it. I think the teeny tiny flit there. He goes with Miko. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. just ripping him out. I cannot right now. Here you go. All right. Let's see. What else was that? Oh, there's a little Donald with some uh, pineapple sunglasses. This one's extra. Yeah, that one's extra taped up. Oh, my goodness. Look at that package. That whatever was in it fit the box. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why. How to... Well, Alarna, I'm glad you were able to join us tonight. Yeah, we, we don't do lives too often, but we definitely do want to do them more. Hey, yes, there were some chin pins in there, huh? There's Maleficent's chin. Uh, yeah, and where's the other ones? I'm sure there's more. 
Yeah, but those chins, they are very commonly fakes. You'll see them on a lot of the pin boards, but uh, this one is the authentic one right here. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that one looks like it's a struggle to yeah, open out. They like covered it. It's morning for you. You're in Australia. That is quite the time difference. Yeah, we. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like 8 p.m. for us. I don't even know the exact time. Do you like having Halloween birthday? Yeah, because then um, you get to have like Halloween parties, at least when I was growing up. But then sometimes people forget it's your birthday too, because it's like all the special Halloween stuff going on. <laughs> Do they make Halloween town pins? I don't think I've ever seen a Halloween and town thought, pin. If they did, I would have it. Um, they probably have made at least like one, I would think. Yeah, and then. Um, yeah, yeah, if you, if you want to look for the pin training events that happen in Orlando, there's two Facebook groups I would recommend. Oh, I know what this one is, remember? Yeah. Look at this, this is, this is a really awesome pin set. It's a Tower of Terror oh, fold-out box, God. look at that, with, uh, the Fab Five inside of there. I didn't realize they, they, like, popped That's out and dangled cool. like that. That's really awesome. So here's Goofy, Minnie. Heck? Mickey, Pluto, and uh, Donald. It's like you don't want to move them. But yeah, that's a limited edition of... You gotta keep it I, like that. I don't remember the size, but yeah, no, that's a super awesome pin set that yeah. definitely has to say in his box. Yeah, they wondering. wouldn't look as cool outside of the box, but the box just makes that set. Uh, but anyway, the the Facebook pin groups that I would recommend joining, there is Club 34. That is uh, Pyro Guy's uh, uh, pin group. And then the other one is... Uh, what is it? Um, Disney. Pin yeah, Disney Pin Collector Society is the other Facebook group that regularly meets. Mm. Ooh, is this a zap? Thank you. Oh, and it's got a little silver Mickey. Aww. Uh, Captain Mickey. That's pretty awesome. Oh, we got lots of sets in here. Well, not sets, but there is. There's the fanny packs. There's some socks and some cups, including the figment cup. Look at that. Oh. Anything figment is always really popular, Are so. Oh, let's not talk about it. Uh, anyways, let me, uh, also any munchlings. We found a couple munchlings today. I don't know if I have any more so upcoming. Waited five hours. We didn't know it was going to be five hours when we waited for the figment meet and greet. But after you wait, like, two hours, you're like, what, do I, you know, <laughs> like, you don't know if it's how long... Uh, it it could have been worse, I guess. Uh, Alon, this is not. Oh, no, these are all my my pins I've purchased. Uh, this uh, this would be some amazing fan mail, though. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's see. Do we ever do whatnot streams? We have an account on whatnot that we haven't used for a little bit, but uh, I. But we do have, I have an Instagram page uh, that we'll be doing doing some lives on there. It's Nick's Pin Shop. Uh, and then we also have our uh, stuff in a uh, Go Pin. Again. We'll yeah, we, we might we might stop in there. We might have to do some uh, some selling of uh, some non-pin items on there too because we got a lot of Legos. Disney things we got to get rid of, okay. including Legos too. Uh, oh my goodness, look at this. This is a really nice Heimlich one. What does it say? Heimlich's Choo Choo. Oh, it's Heimlich's Choo Choo Train. 2002. That's an awesome bug's life. Uh, so this one does look to be mixed uh, with real stuff and fake stuff. Uh, so you can see like this one, the, the colors on Ariel are off and there's a nice ugly dip in the middle of the A. So the quality is bad. The, it's light. Um, so this one... This one's good. Need to be cleaned. Marie is not good. But yeah, let's see. This bell one's pretty cool. This one looks like Adventure uh, Adventures, but I don't have an account on Depop at all, so. Mm. Um, a left side wanted poster. That's another commonly scrapped one. So you want to avoid... I usually avoid that, that poster series. And uh, along with these Winnie the Pooh... Uh, little silhouettes. These are always usually bad. I don't know if I've ever seen the authentic ones of these racer cars, uh, because they're they're supposed to be a limited edition of. You know what? Yeah, we do have like one or two of them now that you mention it. But yeah, uh, there's not supposed to be a border on the back, and there's a border on the back of this one. My camera doesn't want to focus, so I can't really show you guys. But uh, what do you do with all our scrapper pin? Great question. So I have popcorn buckets that I just throw them all in. Uh, and then anytime we go to the, um, 
the benches for pin trading uh because some people go there and they don't have any authentic pins i when in that situation instead of saying no i won't trade you anything i'll be like I, I i won't trade any of these pins but if you find something off of this board which is uh, uh all those guys I'll, I'll trade you anything for anything kids so it's it. yeah it's perfect for when there's kids that have you know their ebay bundles their parents got them and they, they're just trading for the fun of it it's perfect to have that because i hate i i would never want to have to say no to somebody because it's very it's just not fun yeah so uh that's what we save them for oh my gosh sylvia is in here yes we did get your stickers we actually have your little letter over here we were we had we got we we got two letters in the mail so we we were saving them Oh, this is the last package here, or we're done with them already. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, here, here's our pins on this lanyard here. The difference, this one's all nice and shiny, and then the one oh, we got in there. White. Oh, is there the same one somewhere it's in here? It's all, like, dirty. A dirty version? Yeah, it's gone. But New York City, Disney... Oh, Let's see. You're keeping all this keep stuff. Well, we we keep we don't keep all of it, but we do keep the ones that we like, and the other ones will go in our consignment board in a uh, pin HQ or trade or in our trader book. Yeah, there. That's why we're always getting crazy amounts of Disney bags. pins because there there's so many uh, so many places uh, for them to go. All right, Alorna. Well, thank you so much for stopping in and uh, joining our stream for today. Now Anyways, where's our letters, Miss? Oh, they the fell. Camera. They fell. There was another one, too. All right, let's see. Where did the other one go? But those are, that's two of them. What do you no, mean? There's another. there's another. All right, well, Sylvia, Sylvia, I got your address covered. Don't you worry. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. But anyway, Sylvia sent us a letter if you wanted to open this one because Sylvia's in here. Shannon got a preview to see what was in there before we opened it live. I didn't uh, but, see these. I didn't oh, you didn't peek in there yet. Ooh, the we still get to see what the uh, the special yeah. stickers are. Yeah, I'm excited. Yes, thank you for sending us these. Let's let's. Uh... And that's their art Instagram. Oh yeah, and then shout out to uh, Sylvia's Instagram. So Sylvia, there there's her tag there. If you have, if you guys want to check out her uh, page there. The stickers. Oh my god. So All right, special. let's see what these guys look like. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> they are just like the fanny pack pins, except they're stickers oh. and ones that they didn't have. So there's what? the Pascal one. They need to make these. I know. <laughs> they need to hire you to be the art designer for Fanny oh. Pack Series 2. We could put these by the fanny pack pins, right? Oh, yes. Oh. Baymax. Oh. Hey, hey. Oh, and then the coffee cups. Oh. Tiana oh. Cup, Jack Skellington, yeah, Wally. Oh you my goodness! Email them your yeah, no, <laughs> send them the these designs to them because so oh my good. goodness, those pins would be so amazing if they oh, if they had those designs. That's, so That's super awesome. Oh my gosh. All oh. those are so, so well done. Now we can use all of the coffee cups and put them by and then the fanny packs by them. Oh yes. That, <laughs> that's really awesome. Those stickers are amazing. I like those. Thank you for sending us those. There's also this. All right, so we do. We got a, one other, uh, one other letter in here. This is a little letter. I think there were some questions. It's... Yeah, there was uh, a lot of words on here. I have not read it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was from um Del Delilah, I think Delilah. Um, and she had some questions. She said, um. She has pins that might be. She thinks might be fake. Can we help identify them? If you ever have a question, just send me a message on Instagram because I'm good about answering those. And then you can send pictures, and then I can see what we think. Um, how can you tell if you have a rare and valuable pin? Well, um, a good place to look would be pin picks actually because they have a lot of information about pins. But also, always, you can look at eBay and see if they're even listed on there or how much they are going for. Have any tips for growing a pin collection? Keep buying pins. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to do that's it. Yeah, it. I'd want to chime in here. But, like, if, you, if, you, if you're trying to grow a pin collection, I would recommend not buying ones you want to keep. Because, well, uh, well, well, I... <laughs> 
Yeah, I recommend buying anytime you see a good pin deal come up. If they're ones you don't, even if they're ones that you don't want to keep for yourselves, kind of like for trading. Yeah, buy them to trade, and then you'll have pins to trade for pins that you do want yeah, to keep like at all the uh, pin events that happen. Or if you're in Disneyland, you could go to Frontierland, and there's so many people there that set up all the time yeah, to go pin trade. Just always be looking on like Shop Disney. Oh, Shop Disney is a great place to look for deals because every once in a while they have super sales on some of their pins, and it's a great place to stock up. On, on nice looking traders the last question is do we have any tips for becoming a popular pin collector on youtube <laughs> <laughs> um just post your videos about your pins share your collection because people just love seeing it like i love seeing it so yeah, yeah shannon question. will be watching <laughs> yeah and look at all we have a big mess to clean up. Oh yeah, that, that's what happens after every every uh pin mail unboxing. We now we got all pins, pins and stuff everywhere that we gotta clean up. What size pin folio do we recommend? Um, I recommend their pin folio pro. That is my favorite uh, of the bunch. Um, but um. Uh, Oh, oh, that was inside of one of the other packages. We just didn't actually unpackage it. Why is there a pin in it? Is, is that I don't know why Donald was on the outside of it. I mean, I might as well get some more pins out here. Let's see uh, what the other pin or pins Secret were hiding. Pins. Secret oh, pins. Oh, it's more of the uh, from the Walt oh, series. One. I like these. These are cool and look good with that. Do we only trade? We do trade. We do sell. We do everything. Okay. Yeah, because we're with all these pins. <laughs> uh, yeah, we... Uh, we don't keep everything. Uh, let's see, scrolling down. This one's another letter. Oh, Box Lunch has so many really awesome stuff. Oh, this what one, is These are from Angel. They um, watch our videos. And they saw that we liked the, the poster cards. So they said. Oh my goodness! We gotta make a whole whole cork board filled with all this yes. stuff now. We got stickers. We thing. got we got posters. These are really awesome because they're like old school Disney posters. They're so cool, and they're bigger than I have some, and they're even bigger. Yeah, I love the skiing one. Oh. I like them. Yay. Very cool. That was Angel. Well, thank you very much, Angel. Yeah. I don't know if they're in here right now, but hopefully they'll watch the replay and be able to see that later. But uh, anyways, thank you for sending us those. That was really awesome. These are all the pins that I kept. There's... I'm definitely keeping a lot of the princess ones. I put them all in the same bin for now. So. Yeah, and then we do have more pins. They're just not going to be unboxed tonight because you can see those boxes over there. Those are entire collections uh, that we still got to go through. So those are going to be some upcoming videos. Should I keep it? I'm trying to determine if you want the jumbo. I, I feel like that's a nice centerpiece to a board. Should I keep it? Maybe. We'll see. You'll see. Okay. All right. Yay. Yay. That was everything. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining the stream. We'll Yay. try and do more of these <laughs> if, if you guys enjoyed them. Um, but otherwise, that's going to be all for today's video. So I guess we're going to end it off here. Oh, look. What did you find? The oh, the coffee cups to go with our coffee stickers now. <laughs> all right. Well, I think we're, we're ready to sign it off. So thank you all again for being here. And hopefully we'll see you guys again soon. Have a magical day. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>